so continuing from theorem i interchange the numerators and denominators of the ratios which have been obtained so that i get ab by de equal to ac by df is what i get when i interchange the numerators and denominators so similarly if i take obviously the third side will also be in same ratio because if i take the same parallel property in this manner if i draw a parallel line like this and then i use the similar properties i can show that bc by ef is equal to the three fractions therefore proceeding similarly i get ab by de which is also equal to bc by ef is what i get bc by ef therefore combining these two i can show that overall that implies the side ab by the side de of the bigger triangle and the side bc by ef and the side ac by df are in same ratio that implies corresponding sides are in same ratio therefore the two triangles are similar so therefore here we understand that if the corresponding angles are equal then i have proved that from the corresponding angles a equal to d angle b equal to e and angle c equal to f we have proved that the corresponding sides are in same ratio therefore by definition of similarity which says that if the corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are in same ratio triangle abc is very much similar to triangle def the two triangles are similar because their corresponding angles are equal and hence their corresponding sides are in same ratio so the triple a criterion for similarity of triangles makes us understand that if i have the minimum condition of the three angles corresponding angles being equal then obviously the corresponding sides will be in same ratio as derived in the proof and hence by definition of similarity both the properties property 1 the corresponding angles are equal and property 2 the corresponding sides are in same ratio will be satisfied and hence the two triangles are similar now it is very important to note that for a triple a similarity can be reduced to a double a similarity because the restriction to double a similarity is because if two corresponding angles are equal in two triangles then obviously the third angle will also be equal as i can take for example say two triangles abc and the other triangle def in which this angle is equal to this and angle b is equal to this but my angle c is not equal to angle f so let's see if based on these two angles the third angle is same is what we are going to prove so let me take this as angle x and this as angle y and then here i clearly understand that <coughs> angle a equals angle d and angle b equals angle e but angle c and angle f are not given to be equal so let's try and see if the third angle can also be equal based on the minimized condition of the two angles so now here since angle a is equal to angle d and angle b is equal to angle e now i can see that here angle c is nothing but 180 minus angle a plus angle b because sum of three angles of a triangle is 
therefore angle C will be 180 minus angle A plus angle B so that this on further simplification gives me 180 minus angle A which is equal to angle D can be substituted for angle D in the first place and angle B which is equal to angle E can be substituted for angle E in place of A plus B. Now this clearly gives me the picture that 180 minus angle D plus angle E will be angle F because sum of three angles of a triangle is 180. Therefore, 180 minus angle D plus angle E will be strictly angle F because sum of three angles is 180. Therefore, this concludes that angle C is equal to angle F. So, therefore, if the two angles are correspondingly equal, then obviously the third angle will be equal and hence the triple A similarity can be restricted to being called as double A similarity. So therefore, this proof makes us understand that therefore, triple A similarity restricts or reduces to understanding that if the double A similarity holds, then the whole of the properties of triple A criterion hold, reduced to double A criterion for similarity of triangles. Therefore, my statement says that if two angles of one triangle are correspondingly equal to two angles of the other triangle, then there will be the sides which are in same ratio and hence the two triangles are similar. Therefore, the proof can extend only restricted to two angles being equal but not the three angles. So, triple A similarity is restricted to double A similarity from this proof as evidence. Now next is the triple S criterion as we have seen the triple A criterion. Now triple S criterion is said to be the converse of triple A criterion. So I identify this as converse of triple A criterion. In the sense that my triple A criterion stated that if the corresponding angles of one triangle are equal to the corresponding angles of the other triangle, then the two triangles will have their sides in the same ratio. Now here, conversely, we assume that the corresponding sides of one triangle are proportional to the corresponding sides of the other triangle, then we prove that the corresponding angles are equal in the reverse process of triple A criterion. And finally, we say that the two triangles are similar is what we are going to see in triple S criterion. So to start with the triple S criterion for similarity of triangles, the statement says that if the sides, if the corresponding sides of the two triangles are in same ratio ratio then the criterion says their corresponding angles are equal based on their corresponding sides then their corresponding angles are equal and hence the two triangles are similar. The two triangles are similar is what the statement <coughs> makes for triple S criterion. So let's see in brief about its proof but initially to start with the given part of the theorem I have the corresponding sides say for example I take the triangles ABC and DEF it is given that the corresponding sides are in same ratio that is 
a b by d e is given to be b c by e f equals a c by d f b c by e f that equals a c by d f is what we have as the corresponding sides equal <coughs> now next let's see what are the different constructions i need to make for before proceeding for the proof of the theorem so construction to be followed with so let's see the construction in the two triangles abc and def now here let me take a point p on de such that this length is equal to this length that is ab is equal to dp similarly i take a point on q such that ac is equal to dq now once i got the points p and q q i just join p and q so that i get triangle dpq in reflection of triangle abc so here the construction is let p be a point on de such that ab equals dp and similarly let q be a point on df <coughs> such that ac equals dq is what i have taken as the construction then finally i join pq so joining pq i get two triangles abc and dpq so let's see how we can proceed with the proof of theorem to be followed with now to start with the proof clearly i had let's take the given condition that the corresponding sides are in same ratio therefore when i have the corresponding sides of triangle abc and def ab by de is equal to bc by ef which is equal to ac by df now as i take these two conditions i clearly understand that my ab is equal to dp from the construction therefore in place of ab i substitute the equal length dp <coughs> so this gives me dp by de is equal similarly my length ac is equal to dq so i substitute the segment dq in place of ac out here and the denominator remains the same so i have dp by de is equal to dq by df which is nothing but the basic proportionality theorem the extension of basic proportionality theorem therefore when p and q divide this in the same ratio pq is parallel to ef is what we get now that implies pq is parallel to ef by basic proportionality theorem is what i get in parallel now once i prove that the line pq is parallel to ef then immediately it follows with the corresponding angles being equal in the parallel lines therefore this will be equal to this and this equal to this therefore my angle p will be equal to angle e and my angle q will be equal to angle f from corresponding angles that implies angle p equals angle e and angle q equals angle f since they are corresponding <coughs> angles are equal in parallel lines therefore the corresponding angles this and this are equal such that this equals this and this equals this now these two angles which are equal i would like to take this as equation 1 because we use this in the later part of the proof so these two angles equal i take as equation 1 and continue with the proof therefore continuing with the proof i have 
the basic proportionality theorem applied in triangle DEF which gives me DP by DE which is equal to DQ by DF which equals PQ by EF. is what we get as three basic ratios equal. <clears throat> now, as I see clearly here, I also have that AB by DE from the given statement, the corresponding sides are in same ratio. Also, I have the line segment AB by DE is equal to BC by EF or I take AC by DF is equal to EC BC by EF is what I get from the two different concepts. This is by basic proportionality theorem and this is since given. So from the given concept and by using the basic proportionality theorem, I get this equals this. <coughs> Now, as I have AB equals DP, <coughs> I can substitute this AB as DP by DE, which is AC, which is equal to DQ. Therefore, in place of AC, I substitute this as DQ is equal to DF, which becomes BC by EF. But here, because DP by DE and DQ by DF is nothing but this therefore this can be substituted for pq by ef is what i get in the case of these two ratios so when ab is substituted for dp because they are equal and ac is substituted for dq because they are equal this ratio comes back to the original ratio which is pq by ef therefore my the third ratio bc by ef will be equal to pq by ef is what I get finally from the ratio. This is all from since AB equals DP and AC equals DQ is what I get. <coughs> now similarly, when I take the last two pairs, I see that because the denominator EF is equal, therefore that implies BC is strictly equal to PQ because the denominators are same, this and this will be equal, such that my BC equals PQ out here. So therefore, I understand that all of the corresponding sides are equal. That means by SSS congruency, we have ABC triangle is congruent to triangle DPQ. So the congruency will help us in finding the corresponding angles equal.